Holiday shopping might look a whole lot different this year, and tonight we are learning why. News 12's Joe Arena joining us in the studio with the holiday shopping season begins to ramp up. That's right, and Doug, with inflation at a nearly four-decade high, obviously money is tight for many people, but tonight we're learning that this year's holiday shopping season may not be as slow as we think. It's more expensive, but I still have to buy what I gotta buy. A common dilemma for many of us these days, and it's going to spending the experts, is expected to drop considerably this year. But what might keep retailers afloat and people still spending, retail analyst Marshall Cohen says, is that this year there's less fear of COVID. If we are going to be socializing more, which we just came through a record holiday Halloween, we're certainly going to see more Thanksgiving. We're going to have more holiday meals. Uh, we actually may get an increase of gifts to bring to those hosts. And for Bill Edwards from Syosset, that's exactly the case. It's after COVID, so we have more individuals that are coming in uh, from all over the United States and, you know, just to spend more. You know, you, you wind up uh, spending a lot more with, with kids. But Cohen does say what we will see less of is self-gifting. The impulse purchase. The, if I'm going to buy my brother a sweater, will I buy one for myself? That's the piece that could be missing. And that lack of spending, he says, could mean a lack of big growth for retailers this holiday season. And some companies like Amazon are actually announcing layoffs ahead of the holidays, recently announcing 10,000 of them, along with FedEx furloughing workers as cargo demands lessen. And Cohen says he's not surprised because people are feeling more comfortable about shopping in person. This year's the first time in our NPD holiday survey where we saw online sales actually be expected to decrease the first time in 18 years. And Cohen says with COVID being less of a concern, people are more comfortable than ever to shop in stores. And regardless of the science behind this holiday shopping season, if you're like Bill, you know. You can't cheap the kids. You can't cheat the kids. <laughs> <laughs> and as far as Black Friday is concerned, Marshall says while it doesn't mean people are going to be buying up everything, it will likely, though, be a very busy shopping day and the stores should be crowded. Doug. All right. Well, I have to say good for the stores. They yeah. deserve it. All right. Thanks, Joe. Well, are you planning to spend less or more on gifts this holiday season? That's the question we're asking you tonight. Scan the QR code on your screen right now to take part in what is tonight's News 12 poll.